Batoy's first day as NPA leader, President Cyril Ramaphosa appointed her last year after grueling interviews by panelists to select a new NPA boss. Justice Minister Michael Masuta formally introduced Batoy to her colleagues at the NPA in Pretoria. There has been serious difficulties uh, in the organization. So this gives me an opportunity, first of all, um, uh, to express uh, our profound gr gratitude. Justice must win. Perpetrators of crime and corruption within the state and private sector, regardless of who you are, where you are, how rich you are, your days of acting with impunity are numbered. Patoy is the first woman to lead the NPA, but she is no stranger to the institution. She previously served as Director of Public Prosecutions in KwaZulu-Natal before accepting her new job to lead the NPA. Patoy was a senior legal advisor at the International Criminal Court. Now her biggest task is to turn around an institution that's been plagued by deep divisions and political interference. I did have a conversation with the president and I, and I said to him that, you know, I know it's guaranteed in the constitution, but I want you sitting here to give me that assurance. And unhesitatingly, the president said there will be no interference, political interference into the work of the NPA. So I feel fairly confident that that will not happen. But who knows what's going to happen in the future. And if it does for any reason, then I will fiercely defend it. Batoy also expressed concern over some prosecutors who have been implicated in allegations of taking bribes. The seasoned advocate wants a specialized multidisciplinary team to deal with those implicated in state capture. Serious allegations have emerged, some old, some new, but all damaging if they are found to have any basis in fact at all. What is emerging is distressing in the extreme and will receive immediate attention from me and my team. I will as soon as possible engage with relevant stakeholders including the team at the Zondo Commission and the head of the SIU amongst others. NPA staff have now officially met their new captain. It's an institution that's supposed to be the backbone of the country's criminal justice system. But often we have learned with shock and sadness of some of the controversies and irregularities that have eroded the institution's integrity and credibility. Political pressure perhaps being the biggest stumbling block. But Advocate Batoy says there will be no political pressure during her term. Patricia Fasahi, SABC News in Pretoria.